Introduction I first had the idea to write this book in the summer of 2017. My husband Jeremy and I had just attended an advanced training institute conference in Big Sandy, Texas. Later in the book, I'll talk more about what the conference is and why we went. While there, I saw dozens of people I'd grown up with, friends who, like me, had come to Big Sandy every year. But for every old friend I saw that week, there was one or two I expected to see who didn't show up. In the coming months and years, I'd start to hear stories of those friends. I'd find out that some of them no longer loved Jesus and wanted nothing to do with Christianity. As they reached young adulthood, they had rejected everything they'd been taught about God, the Bible, and the Christian faith. While that is not my story, I am a Christian who loves Jesus and wants to follow him. I have, like those friends, rejected much of the teaching I heard each year at the conference in Big Sandy. My faith is still intact, but it has changed. Instead of leaving the faith entirely, I have unthreaded or disentangled the truth of Christianity from the unhealthy version I heard growing up. My hope is that this book will be a help to my friends who are struggling to see who Jesus truly is. They were taught harmful and destructive teachings that have nothing to do with the grace of Jesus. They thought that's what Christianity was all about, but it isn't. I also hope this book can be a help for those who are still following those teachings. When you grow up in a tight-knit community where everyone believes the same things about everything, not just who God is, but also how men and women are supposed to dress and speak, 